I'm continuing the 7x7 seven seven, uh, with my thirds. This is uh, one of my uh, <clears throat> pre finished saddles, which I'm going to measure. The top is now also scraped, and I have what remains here of the uh, surfaces. It's quite worn. Uh, Actually, the, there is a ridge here that that represents here the surface that is worn and here the pristine area, which I'm going to use to locate and measure the wear to. So I'm zeroing the indicator here at the, at the unworn here should be able to see it zero there and now this is the front of course to the um, to the operator so here I would expect most wear and if I go down here I see I have well what is it six or seven hundreds of a millimeter and I can go over here and uh, of course having set it up now on these um, parallels i know it's flat so i've indicated here i know it's flat also scraped that and here i see the wear is a little bit less but still quite a lot about three or four so i go over here to measure and here I'm measuring something like uh, eight, seven, and then over here, which surprisingly had the most wear. You can see when I go over to the unworn, it is back to zero, and going down again. Fifteen hundreds, and that is on the I call it the trailing edge underneath here. So how this can become so worn is probably well not a mystery, but something special. But anyway, I uh, know this needs to be. Uh, in my case, I will grind it. No, I will um, um, mill it down. Because I've already um, thought I would use the uh, time to build it from the it's narrow guide to the wide guide. So using this longer uh, distance here or uh, way surface instead of this shorter here to guide the saddle. The distance I will then inadvertently move it will be uh, corrected, so to speak, brought back again, brought back again with the strip of uh, rule on at the, at the rear edge there. Uh, while on this side, then the gib will ride. So it's guided by the rule on here, which I will then scrape and the, and the gib, and the rule on will be scraped so that I have a little bit of toe in angle. So that the, the, the saddle will be what is it? This way. This way. So, this way. Instead of being perfectly, I'm exaggerating of course, that way it will be a little bit like that. So you have a small, um, let's say half a hundreds or a hundreds of a millimeter, maybe one hundred, so a little bit more over that distance difference so it's thinner at that end and thicker here meaning that when you face it'll face concave flat so like a dish shaped as I said I will mill down here so that these will be milled uh, down and I have to mill down 15 hundreds or even more than that here and here and then I will decide whether or not I will grind it or 
or uh, I think I'll put on Rulon on this one. And some I think with lesser wear I will just grind and then uh, scrape oil pockets. Somehow I have to use my flaker sometime also, so maybe I will show that on some of these. Uh, now I've uh, mounted uh, the cross slide in the vise and clocked it up. So that it is uh, only a matter of arranging the head around and mill a slot here. So this um, for this milling operation, I plan to use either this guy here or this so that I plunge cut down here or here actually I may use that one as I say see that that is more suitable in width it's apparent that uh, that is better than this one. This will be a little bit. Well, I have to take one side first and then the other. Well, with this one, I can take both sides, I think. I try to cover up as much as possible of the waste there. So uh, now I will take. Um, uh, well, how much do we need to set down? At least we set zero here. And on the DRO. Then we'll down feed in yeah, increments of five or six hundreds. Now you see it's all flush. Oh, and almost ground finish. And then I'll do the same over here. Oil groove removed. Have to dig another one, of course. Uh, I may have taken off a little bit in excess of what I should have done, but as long as I know what I've taken off, I will be okay. Uh, I removed a little bit excess material, but um, apart from here where I started, you can't feel it. But uh, apart from that, it's uh, it's okay. So uh, it's quite fine milled uh, surface. So it remains to be seen then how it measures. So having. Um, milled off just to ascertain that it's flat do this just sufficiently within a couple of hundreds uh, it was a little bit there and then I will um, <coughs> Cut off some strips of rule and glue them on. And this rule on is uh, 
the thicker which is around 1.2 millimeters so therefore I've taken off that amount and then I have the glue in, on top and then I've, I'm in the ballpark for for um, being able to scrape off a little bit of that and then still get to where I was so that's next now it's a fine finish um, You see it's milled but still very fine finish so I'm uh, very pleased with that actually um, it's almost a, a little bit ripple down here but anyway and here is a small small um, mark I wouldn't take off anymore 